Hello and welcome to episode 1 of Bionicle Explained. This series will be focused on, well, explaining all things Bionicle. This pertains to anything from Bionicle, such as characters, events, motivations, places, powers, vehicles, creatures, and much more. In fact, I'll talk about anything relating to Bionicle, so that includes even the history of the brand itself. Bionicle is jam-packed with, in my opinion, the best lore of any intellectual property I've seen. It'll be really fun to discuss and explain this rich lore and history of Bionicle in the LEGO company. Now each episode of this series will vary in length, but I don't expect any to be insanely long. I think it'll be rare to see a video over 10 minutes, it just depends on the topic. As for topic selection, of course there will be topics I would like to cover, but I encourage you guys to leave a comment with a topic you would like me to cover. This way I can explain something you guys would like to know more about. The first two episodes, however, have already been chosen by me, as I believe they are the two most asked questions about Bionicle. The first being, how can I get into Bionicle, and the second being, what is the general story of Bionicle? So without further ado, let's get into the topic of the first episode, how to get into Bionicle. I've seen many different answers to this question over the years, but I still think the best way to jump into Bionicle is with the comics. In fact, this was the main way I kept up with the Bionicle story when Bionicle G1 was running. Not only do the comics keep you updated on the main story, but they also have some gorgeous art. If the premise and concept of Bionicle sounds interesting enough, the first issue will suck you right in and it wastes no time explaining the world and diving into the action. In the middle of each issue, there is a two-page highlight of sets associated with the current storyline, and it usually gives some extra details and explanations about them. I always thought this was a nice little addition and gave some insight about certain characters you haven't seen before. Each comic leads into the next, so it's not like you'll be missing out on key information. However, there are technically three series of Bionicle comics, the first being titled Bionicle and containing issues 1 through 27, the second being titled Bionicle Ignition and containing issues 0 through 15, and the third being titled Bionicle Glatorian and containing issues 1 through 7. Even though the comics are fairly cheap on eBay, it would take a while to get your hands on all of them, but the folks over at BiomediaProject.com actually have all of them free to read in high quality. It doesn't stop there too. The site is dedicated to archiving all things Bionicle, from videos to pictures to games to music and much more. It's a fantastic site, and I would recommend checking it out. The link to this and other important sites I mentioned can be found in the video description. As I said before, the comics will keep you updated on the main story of Bionicle, but they do have a few parts of the story missing, and that is because those parts were made into movies. There are four movies in total, Bionicle Mask of Light, Bionicle 2 Legends of Metro Nui, Bionicle 3 Web of Shadows, and Bionicle The Legend Reborn. The first three take place within the first 27 issues of the Bionicle comic series, and The Legend Reborn takes place in the Bionicle Glatorian comic series. There is no need to be concerned about when to watch them, though, as they organically fit into the comics. At the end of the issue relating to the movie, it will inform you to watch the film. The films are fairly easy to come by and are entertaining, so there's no need to be concerned about that. When Bionicle was active, they also had these really awesome mini-movies associated with each line. They vary in length and appearance, but it wouldn't hurt to watch them after you read the comics for the year you are on. You can see all the mini-movies separated by year in the video section of BiomediaProject.com. So if you've read the comics and watched the movies when told to, you should be able to follow the main Bionicle story well. But chances are, if you read through all of them, you'll be dying to learn more about the world of Bionicle, as some of the stories get so deep and interesting, especially from the Ignition series and on. And let me tell you, there is plenty more to learn about. I kept saying before that the comics give you the main Bionicle story, but if you want to get that story in way more detail, including some fantastically written side stories, then you should definitely read the books next. There are four series of books to read. The Chronicles, which contains five books. The Adventures, which contains ten books. The Legends, which contains eleven books. And the Eglatorian series, which only contains three books. If I had to recommend any to read as you read the comics, it would probably be the Glatorian books, as Bionicle was cancelled during the storyline, so the books really help explain a lot that the comics had to rush over. Also, four of the books are the novelizations of the movies. 
I figured I would let you know in case you were more interested in reading than watching the movies. The reason I didn't tell you to start with the books was because they can be quite daunting. There are a lot of books to read, and the story can be confusing for new fans. The comics take that confusion away by solely focusing on the main story, and of course, having art instead of a wall of text. The books do cover the same story beats, but go into much more detail and have side plots and other stories that weren't even mentioned in the comics. Luckily for you, Bionicle fans are awesome, and we archive everything. A user by the name of Crosswired Freak uploaded every page of every book to his Tumblr, so you won't have to go tracking down these books. If you've gone through all that stuff, it shouldn't be a surprise to you to know that there is more. The writer of Bionicle, Greg Farshity, would also post story serials on the Bionicle website during its run. While these aren't vital to the story, they are, of course, written very well and build the lore. Again, those can be found on biomediaproject.com. The last part I would like to discuss would be the video games. While I am talking about them last, there really is no wrong time to play them, as only a few are actually canon, and there are no major story events revealed in them. It would be a crime not to mention the Matanui Online games, though. Many fans crown this as the pinnacle way to experience Bionicle, as it puts you on the island of Matanui and you just explore. While it is only a point-and-click adventure game created for Bionicle.com, there's something about it that is so engaging. You learn a lot about the world the Matoran live in, and the music is just phenomenal. Bionicle was known for having some awesome Flash games, so I highly recommend you check all of them out. All of the games can, of course, be found on biomediaproject.com, except for the home release video games. There are only a few and are all non-canon, and unfortunately, not too engaging. Well, let me correct myself there. Bionicle Heroes was awesome, despite not having a story. Overall, that is how you get into Bionicle. You may be a bit overwhelmed right now, so I'll recap everything for you. First off, just stick to the comics. You'll learn the main story there and be tasked to watch the films when you get to those four parts in the story. If you are still interested after that, read the books to dive deeper into the story and learn of many side plots and side adventures that are very well written. If you still want more after that, read the story serials and dive into the video games, or just explore everything archived on biomediaproject.com. It really is up to you. And there you go. If you are ever confused about something, feel free to look it up on the amazing Bionicle Sector 01 Wiki, or BSO1 Wiki for short. There is so much information about everything relating to Bionicle on this site. Often, I find myself getting lost on the site as I move from page to page, opening one tab after another, reading about Bionicle. There are so many great resources out there for you to just sit back and discover this fantastic world. Thank you everyone for watching, and I really hope this helps you get into Bionicle. I can't say enough how great the world Greg Farshity and Christian Faber create is, and I hope you discover it soon. Be sure to subscribe for more and leave a comment with a suggestion for a future video. And with that, I will talk to you guys later.